Hey, what's good? It's your boy, Matthew Michael. I just felt the need to make this video. In today's video, I will be talking about how to survive a stock market crash. What's up? It's your boy, Matthew Michael. I like saving money, investing money. I like making money. I like living life and I love making videos for you guys. If you're new here, please subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you don't miss any future content or giveaways. I post a new video every Saturday and guys, I would love to have you as part of the family. If you like the content in this video, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up just so that I know. And if you guys aren't following me on Instagram, what are you doing? A lot of you guys actually message me on Instagram and I just love getting them and responding to you guys. So uh, yeah, follow me on Instagram. I love talking to you guys. Without further ado, let's get into the video. All right, so guys, the stock market is getting crazy. The trade war tensions are high. The prices are going low and everyone's pulling their money out of the stock market. So things are getting wild. And for all you day traders out there, good luck. If you're able to be successful in times like this, hey, y'all shoot me a message, leave me something down below in the comments hit me up on instagram guys hey let me know how you do it for all you day traders out there i'm just not seeing how anyone is seeing success right now day trading with that being said guys in this video i am going to give y'all four tips on how to survive this crashing stock market all right and the first tip is if you're going to be successful and you want to come out on top of the stock market you have to be long on the stocks you can't just buy into a stock one week and expect to sell it a week later and be on top when the stock market is going down you have to plan ahead so that means guys when you're buying these stocks you're buying long term every move you make is a long term move because there's no telling when this crash will be over we had a miniature crash at the end of 2018 it only lasted about three months but guys uh the crash in 2008 it took a couple years to get out so guys you have to be long on these stocks guys in a crash the stock market is different so you have to change your mentality what works in a normal bull market doesn't work in a crash it's becoming a bear market guys so you have to change your mentality and if you didn't sell while it was up like a bear you have to buy like a bear in order to come up that being said leading into tip number two guys if you didn't sell like a bear when your stock was up and now you're down on your position assuming that you're only getting companies that you actually see a future in actual good companies you pretty much have no choice but to either sell for a loss but you're not coming on top if you sell for a loss or you have the option of dollar cost averaging and dollar cost averaging is the reason why people are up so much on their portfolio for those of you who don't know what dollar cost averaging is it's continuously buying into the same stock over time to lower your average so say you buy a stock for a hundred dollars and the price goes down to 98 dollars right now you have a share for a hundred dollars you buy it at $98, okay, the average price goes down, okay, and say it goes down again, maybe it goes to $60. So it already went down from $100 to $98. Now it's at $60, it's really on sale. Buying those stocks for $60 will help bring the average even lower. So that way, when it returns to the $100 level, whatever your average is for all the stocks, that is the percentage you will be up on the stocks. So even if you bought at $100, after holding a stock for some time and dollar cost averaging, you could be up 40%. You could be up a great percentage just through dollar cost averaging at the price that you originally bought for it. So that is the second tip, and that is dollar cost averaging. Guys, take advantage of this. Be sure to get some money on the side. Being the point number three, you're going to need some cash on the side in order to be able to lower the price of your dollar cost average. Guys, you're going to want to leave at least 10 to 30% of your portfolio value in cash. It's chilling your portfolio. That way you guys don't have to worry about transferring over money to your portfolio. The money is there and you can act on it as soon as possible. Whenever you see it there in the stock market, you don't have to wait days for the deposit to process to get those stocks at that price. You're able to get it right then with the cash that you have then and now. If y'all are using Robinhood like me, Robinhood will only give you up to one or two thousand dollars instant cash deposit. And if you see the opportunity to really lower your dollar cost average, sometimes one to two thousand dollars isn't enough. So guys, it's important to keep at least 10 to 30 percent of your portfolio in cash and really you really want to lean more towards the 30 percent as opposed to the 10 percent if you only have 10 percent cash in your portfolio more than likely it should be because you just bought some more stocks trying to average your way down so guys be sure to have 10 to 30 percent cash in your portfolio tip number four is about picking the companies that you buy when the stock market is down when the stock market is down there are typically a few stocks that all the money rushes into foods these are places like mcdonald's drink companies uh these are companies like 
Coca-Cola and Pepsi, pharmacies and healthcare, places like Walgreens, and then uh, companies that deal with needs-based products like companies like Walmart. So uh, y'all will notice when the stock market gets hit, these companies don't get hit as hard. So they're not quite as depressed as other companies, so they tend to have more strength in times like these. So while these companies are safe to move your money to, if you want to still collect dividends and don't want to pull your money out of the stock market, if you're trying to come out on top of a crash, it's better to move to a company that, that's down and really Really on sale like something that's 30 40 50 percent off like if you take a look at any of the chip makers like nvidia or skyworks uh nike's going down too uh, uh just taking a look at some of the stocks and how they were doing towards the end of the year last year there were quite a few stocks on sales apple went down as low as 140 and that's that's a stock on sale so uh really what you want to do is buy those stocks as they're going down once it gets to a level that you're comfortable averaging in at start buying at that level as it continues to go down buy into it guys if you follow all these tips in the stock market crash I assure you that you will be on top when it's over. Guys, I wanna know how long do y'all think the stock market is gonna continue to fall? Hey, y'all let me know down below in the comments. And if you like this video, please give this video a big thumbs up. Also, if you're new here, be sure to subscribe so that you don't miss any future content or giveaways. Thank y'all so much for watching and peace.